thank you for all that he has done for us in the past. I would like to give a humble speech of appreciation for all that he is. It started in the year 2006, in Seath Mall when city center has yet to be thought of. There we were, my best friend at the time, my sister, and myself, as we were walking towards a group of unfamiliar faces. And that was when we saw him. He was tall, he was white, he was handsome. That was the guy next to him. <laughs> and this, and he, was almost the exact opposite. He was short, <laughs> yellow, and cute. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was when Toastmaster Nejla and Khaled, and of course myself, had first met. And from that day on, days turned into weeks, weeks turned into months, and months turned into years, and the next thing we knew it, Khaled was a part of the Cumber family. And it was a huge blessing to have him a part of our family, because whenever we would go out as a family, there will be my father, who is the tallest, my brother, who is the second tallest, and there is Nisri, Nejla, Khalid, myself, and of course the shortest of them all, my mother. So if you think about it, it goes like... <laughs> so you see, it's perfect for him to be a part of our family, because he doesn't break the line. He literally fits in. <laughs> But as I stand here in front of all of you and try to think of the most embarrassing things that happened to him, I can think of nothing. He has no flaws, he has no errors. As my mother would say, he's the perfect son-in-law. He's the perfect small man to the perfect small orange car. <laughs> the car and Khalid are quite similar, don't you think? They're almost the same thing. Let me explain. The car, the car is orange. <laughs> Khalid is yellow, but can turn orange sometimes. <laughs> the car is small. Khalid is small. The car has a big, round back. And Khalid... <laughs> when he first joined Toastmasters, I'm sure some of you remember, he was a little bit smaller back then. A little bit smaller. But as the years went by, of course, he turned into something like that. <laughs> and that made me wonder whether his motto, T-L-I, actually stands for two large ice cream <laughs> instead of top, lead, and inspire. Does it though? <laughs> it amazes me at, at how much the audience is attracted to call it. That makes me think of how they can easily feel and get into his vibe. And that makes me really think of what goes on inside that brain of his, inside that mind of his, besides his wife, food, and his toys. I'm sure some of you remember if you were all during, if you were all here during our geek pride meeting, there was a bunch of toys right in front of the room. Do you know where those toys came from? From him. <laughs> but most importantly, do you know where those toys have been? And do you remember washing your hands after you touched them? <laughs> 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 Nevertheless, Khalid is an amazing man with a bright future filled with much, much, much more than his little perks. When you see a man driving in a small orange car, you'll know it's him. When you see or when you hear a crowd yell, talk, lead, and inspire, you'll know it's Khalid leading it. And when you feel like everyone is perfect and flawless, you always find a little something that makes them different and good. So here's to you, Khalid. Continue to eat more ice creams. To talk, lead, and inspire. Happy birthday. Oh.